I'm Bob Mincer, saxophonist, bass clarinetist, electronic wind instrument player. I play with a band called the Yellow Jackets, occasionally lead my own quartet, big band leader, and I'm here to hopefully help you to play the saxophone better. Frequently people ask me, how do you work on sound? And it's, it's somewhat of, a, uh, of an elusive subject in the sense that uh, a lot of different components uh, determine what your sound is like. I mean, uh, it, 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 it varies from who your influences were in terms of who you listen to. Uh, it involves the kind of person you are, the kind of physical makeup you have. Uh, what you do with the various components of uh, embouchure and technical matters, all these things uh, influence your sound, so to speak. And uh, I'd like to talk a little bit about things I've considered and worked on and work on with students in terms of uh, working and developing a sound. The sound of a saxophone player is the essence of their makeup, their personality, uh, how they put the notes together, uh, what they do when they sustain a note, how they start a note, how they end a note, uh, is their tone bright, is it dark, uh, all these things are considerations that influence sound, I mean, uh, it, you know, and there's such a, a wide spectrum, you know, the, the older players had more of a bottom to their sound, a darker quality. Uh, you know, if you were to hear uh, Coleman Hawkins or somebody play Body and Soul, there was, you know, a, a, a leaning towards the lower overtones, uh, you know, with this what we call subtone element involved where it might sound something like this. <laughs> 